Queensland introduces a permanent travel pass, a woman charged with killing her ex-husband, and China launches astronauts into space for the first time in five years. Hello and welcome to The Skinny, I'm CJ. Anyone entering Queensland will need to fill in a new travel declaration form in a bid to help contract tracing. The form is being introduced permanently from Saturday. It comes as Bondi is hit with a fresh COVID alert. A woman has been charged with the murder of her ex-husband in Brisbane last night. The woman allegedly threw bleach in his face, then repeatedly stabbed him before slitting his throat in Newmarket. The couple split in 2013. Police have announced a $250,000 reward for information into the murder of Gold Coast bikey Shane Bowden. The 48-year-old was shot in the driveway of his home late last year. His partner and two children were home at the time. US President Joe Biden has met Vladimir Putin in Geneva. Both leaders felt the talks were positive and constructive. However, Mr Biden later apologised for snapping at a CNN reporter who drilled him about cybersecurity and human rights issues. Given his past behaviour has not changed, and in that press conference after sitting down with you for several hours, he denied any involvement in cyber attacks, he downplayed human rights abuses, he even refused to say Alexei Navalny's name. So how does that account to a constructive meeting as President, President Putin? Friday? You don't understand that, you're in your own business. Is there something with China? I owe my last question an apology. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been such a wise guy with the last answer I get. China has successfully launched three astronauts into space. The Shenzhou 12 will take the astronauts to the Chinese space station. It's the first time China has launched a crewed mission since 2016. I'm CJ and that's all the latest news headlines.